Good morning, Earthlings. I got my color palette together for my class. And so that's what you're going to be seeing today. We're going to be playing with the palette. We're going to be looking at the colors. And whatever you make, please send it to me, a picture of it, and I'll put it on my vlog. You can get to that if you go to Patreon, share Clemens. You can support me there and get to know what I really think. Anyway, I hope that you like this class. I'm doing it now. <laughs> oh, little butterfly. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Alright, so what do Good morning, Earthlings. Let me explain this palette to you. Alright, so your kid is going to have this little tiny rinky dink six cup palette. They're only like 40 cents or so. I chose a cadmium yellow, yellow okra. I chose Elizabeth crimson, uh, selenium blue, ultramarine blue, and indigo. Now, it doesn't really seem like much to you, but what I'm going to be teaching you in the first class is the magic of these colors and what they do to each other. So that's that's the palette. So when you get your paint from Dick Blick, you got this. You open it up, you put it in there, and what you're going to have is some really fresh, fresh paint in your palette. And um, not very often that happens, and when it does, take advantage of it because of fresh paint in your palette. Ooh. So if, it, if you let it sit, this is what you do. Take your water bottle. That's it. Now we just wait a bit. They'll reconstitute themselves. But it's never the same as when you just put the tube in there. So, as promised, here we go. What I'd like you to do when you first get your palette and your brushes, paper, ah, I'm out of paper, is to just play with it. Just play with it. I'd like you to start with cadmium yellow and just take a little on your brush and a lot of times it looks like really nice and professional if you make boxes but what we are really trying to do right now is get to know the properties of this yellow we would we get it really really like concentrated and then we would do with water then take the water this is what i'm going to be having you do and not drawing a picture but taking the water and putting it on your paper and then doing the picture out of the water that's on your paper we're we're playing with different degrees of dryness wetness what happens in wet what happens in dry uh, just get an idea How about cadmium yellow Woo. all right that wasn't too bad that's pretty painless. So you can let it dry and paint over it if you want. Next up, okra. Yellow okra is not one that we see a lot because it's not really the most incredibly beautiful color. But I like what it does. Yellow okra is an opaque color. And what it does it's going to sit right on top of that yellow so you don't see the yellow anymore. Any color it's with, it's going to take over. So yellow okra is absolutely one of my favorites. So I'm going to do my water. Yellow okra is absolutely coolest. Cool beans. See what happens? Oh, what a beautiful color play. Woo! I like that. All right. So I want you to, as you're going down your palette kind of in your mind think okay there's only six colors and I'm doing this with each one of them this is very nice this is a alizamum crimson I love this color because it's just so nice it's a nice color and so I'm going back to this a little this is a little bit um drier now a little along the edge and see what happens with that the thing I like about Elizabeth Crimson is it does a very nice color play. And when you get to know 
what kind of color play you got. See, this is wetter paper. You got to just play with that. See what happens when you stick it in yellow okra. Ooh. This is water. Now, one thing about the reds is you, you don't you don't need a lot. A little goes a long ways. But look at how pretty that is. Doesn't that say tulip to you? Tulip. Boop. Also marine right. blue. Very dark, very transparent blue, which means when you put this on your paper, you can see through to the paper. So that's really good to know. But also, I like it because the color play so nice. Not all of the colors play so nice. That one does. Ooh. See? Ha! <laughs> Just play. What's next? Share one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Selenium blue. Ooh. Now I swear something's happened to my eyesight or something. Um. Selenium blue is a different color when I was starting out. Might be my might be my eyesight. No, might be Mandela effect. Anyway, that's selenium blue. Now, what I want you to notice about it, it is so opaque. So much more opaque than this. And you're saying, Cher, I don't see any difference. Well, you might see a difference when you play with it. Put it up here. See, these are all just still still wet, so you can play. But selenium blue is going to sit right on top of any color, just like a yellow okra. See, now you can see that it's, now you can see that it's very opaque. See, this one doesn't color play as nice because it's got a different property. I still love it though. I love it. See, it's got a whole different property, so it doesn't color play like some of these other ones do. The properties of indigo, it's it's transparent. Sure it is, but it's very dark. So whatever you do with it, I mean, just know. The reason I chose indigo for your palette, it's it's just a really great color. If you really look at the color as a color, it's color blue jeans. It's a beautiful color, but it's what I and it also does a do really nice color play. But this, uh, so you get to know the properties of that one. All right, so what was that she said about cadmium yellow and selenium blue? Oh. Now what happens when I mix them together? Do they turn into a green? Yeah, it turns into a nice green. Nice green. Is it a better green than... <laughs> so this is what you do, sweetie. You just go through it. You find out what your best green. Just with these colors. I hate to limit you because I know what you're going to be able to do. But really... Let's play with these colors first. Ooh. So now we're actually coloring. I, you know, some people mix their colors together and sometimes you'll do that. You really will. But uh, I, you won't see me do that very much because what I like is what's going to happen right now. Choo! That's what I like. I like to mix the colors together when they're actually on the paper you can have this red thing here right ah, there you go I mean it just I like what that does and that's a much different much more interesting orange to me than if I was to mix it up but you can do whatever you want to do the whole point of this class is to learn to play see you didn't draw anything nobody bothered you about oh what an ugly picture Whoop. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? You must admit, there's nothing scary, there's nothing earth shattering. I mean, once you learn the principles of these six colors, these six, now you know why I chose these six. Once you learn the properties, then you can have at it with the rest of it. And you don't have to draw, you don't have to do anything. 
You just have to, that's it, that's it. So anyway, hope you enjoy my class. The rest of it's gonna be just as fun. Oh, if you take a picture of what you created and send it to me, I'll put it on my blog. Next up, you can make a polywog. Make a tulip. <laughs> Even if you don't know how to draw, we're not drawing anything. We're just having fun with what you just learned with the palette that you got from Dick Flick. And if you want to support this, you can go ahead and go to Patreon. And then you can see the vlogs. The vlogs are uncut. And oh, it's what I really think. Anyway, until our next class, enjoy your day. Hope you find your ya. Yeah. It's a beautiful day on Kamano Island. I think I'll leave the door open. <laughs> hey, Loshi. Let's paint.